Aloha, friends and family. I love welcoming you with aloha. 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 That one joyful word, aloha, carries the blessings of absolute true love, divine light, recognizing God in everyone, in all life, truth and humbleness, being aware in each moment, the presence of divine breath. These qualities of aloha are our true nature. Did you know? Are you aware that you can tangibly experience all these aloha qualities 24 seven? Did you know there's nothing more I'd like to see than you and everyone in the world experiencing our aloha, living our aloha in every moment? And what better time to start or heighten your aloha experience than right now. Right now for me is the first day of spring 2022, which officially starts at 3.33 UK time. Regardless of when you're first hearing or reading this, may you spring forth into a more consistent experience of living your aloha. Living your aloha is not about struggling or striving. Imagine your life where each moment is experienced as a precious blessing. You feel the cells of your body constantly pulsating with energy. You awaken each day looking forward to the adventure unfolding before you. You fall asleep each night quickly and peacefully. Imagine feeling, seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, and sensing in all ways the magical, wondrous, miraculous beauty, diversity, and sheer magnificence of being an aloha connected human, a blessing to yourself and everyone. If we haven't had the pleasure of meeting before, my name is Timothy, the Magical Kids Books creator. I've now been blessed to write more children's stories than anyone alive. 86 to date with many more coming. My entertaining and educational family stories and courses switch on the love, bliss, and brilliance genes in all generations. Even as you're listening now, your love bliss, brilliance, genes, and more are being activated. Stories have been used for thousands of years to pass on blessings, seed generational wisdom, and trigger aha moments within listeners. Living your aloha is not about struggling or striving. Over the past 40 years, I've helped tens of thousands like you leap over some of life's most difficult challenges with grace and ease to experience the wonders of living in vital health, the freedom of financial wealth, the bliss of a quiet, focused mind, the joys of enjoying loving relationships, the infinite powers of their soul and seeing their dreams come true. Living your aloha, is not about struggling or striving. When you've gifted yourself the experience of listening to or reading this blog, head over to timothystutz.com where you'll find guided meditations, exercises, fairy tales, songs, and more. Something for every member of your family to catapult you into living and thriving in more love, peace, bliss, and success. You'll find the link in the description box. Living your aloha is not about struggling or striving. We're not crossword puzzles where we must figure everything out. Though there may be lots to solve, 
lots of choices. Our hearts know the answer that's perfect for us in each moment. We're not Rubik's cubes where all the similar colors must be on the same side. We're diverse, multicolored, multifaceted reflections of the one God, of each other. Living from our hearts makes this truth a constant experience, even when our bodies are sleeping. Living your aloha is not about struggling or striving. We're not AI. We're living, breathing, 100% soul power in biological bodies as originally designed by, birthed by, breathed by God. AI can make our daily lives much easier. So our true purpose on earth, living our aloha and helping others do the same is fulfilled with ease and grace. Living your aloha is not about struggling or striving. We're not climbing Mount Everest, though the path of aloha can seem quite narrow and steep because it does demand our full awareness. Thankfully, when a foot slips on our life adventure, we have opportunities to regain our balance and continue onward. Living your aloha is not about struggling or striving, but it is about surrendering to your soul and God's design for your life. The struggle and striving comes in when we deviate from God's divine blueprint for each of us. A divine blueprint imprinted in our heart, encoded in every biological cell. A divine blueprint we access by connecting with our divine breath, our heart, our truth, our humbleness, our divine light, and recognizing those aloha, those God qualities in ourselves and everyone, in all life. Living your aloha is not about struggling or striving. And in this precious moment, let's connect with our full aloha, our true aliveness through our divine breath. I invite you to bring your hands to your heart and come totally present. Close your eyes if it's safe to do so. Be aware of your precious breath. Feel it entering and leaving your beautiful body feel, perhaps even hear, your beloved heartbeat. Feel the life force pulsing in, as, through, and for you. There's nowhere else to be, nothing else to do. Sincerely honor yourself as I'm honoring you right now. As all your beloveds no longer blessing your life with their physical presence honor you as your entire ancestral lineage is honoring you, the souls of those you've known in whatever form they may now be manifesting, if any form. Feel the love you are. Be still. Be still, my heart, and listen. Stay focused at your heart with your eyes closed. Be still, my heart and listen. In the stillness, I enter like bees returning to the hive with their pollen prize. In the stillness, the sound of silence hums, sometimes silent and sometimes thunderous. In the stillness, the vibrations of my love buzz in your every pore. In the stillness, be absorbed in the ecstasy of my golden love flowing like honey through your every pore. Be still, my heart, and listen. Be still and pause often throughout your day to be with your divine breath and precious heart. Be still, my heart, and listen. 
eat with awareness and love without other distractions of reading, watching, or listening to something other than relaxing or inspirational music. Be still, my heart, and listen before arising in the morning and before sleeping at night. Be still, my heart, and listen. Practice listening with total awareness to those who are speaking to you. Tune into the tone of their voice, their body language, and hear more than just the words. Acknowledge what they share with your response. Speak from your heart, not your head. Be still, my heart, and listen. If you've listened to any of my prior sharings, you know how much I love bees. Bees are the inspiration for be still, my heart, and listen. You'll find three fairy tales of the heart where bees are the central character, along with several BB Jubilee songs for you and your entire family at timothystutz.com. And yes, you'll love these stories even if you don't have children. You do have an inner child, a magical inner child. The direct link to the bees will be in the description box. 11 days ago, I also created a 21-day Aloha quest to increase your experience of living in, as, with, and for Aloha, regardless of your current life experience and your current spiritual, religious, or mindful practices, or how long you've been doing them. The recommended practices in this 21-day Aloha quest are super easy to integrate into your life. What's more, doing so will increase your ability to experience all those qualities of aloha more consistency, consistently. Yesterday's sharing gave you nine secret but oh so simple super stress busters that will also help you in your 21 day aloha quest. God's grace and your minimal self-effort guarantees that the recommended practices in this 21-day quest will take you to your aloha. They're super easy to integrate into your life. My experience over the past four decades is that God moves us ahead nine steps for every step we take. Living your aloha is not about struggling or striving. This quest has also been supported by daily blogs, of which this is the 12th. You'll find the direct link to this life-enhancing 21-day aloha quest and the mind-expanding supporting blogs in the description box. Living your aloha is not about struggling or striving. Be still, my heart, and listen. Thank you for connecting in, listening, or reading this today, and know that whether you've had any aha moments in the process, you have received energetic blessings that are now circulating within you. Blessings, blessings, blessings in all ways as you live your aloha. Living your aloha is not about struggling or striving. Be still, my heart, and listen. Please like, comment, and share this video with your friends and family. Let's give everyone an opportunity to reduce their experience of stress and live the 24-7 experience of their true aliveness their true aloha, their full freedom. With all my blessings for peace, love, bliss, vibrant health, all wrapped in an infinite rainbow of miraculous, magical miracles for you, your children, and your family, flowing like infinite honey, aloha, and mahalo for tuning in and being here now. Living your aloha 
is not about struggling or striving. Be still, my heart, and listen. Be still, my heart. Be still. Be. Be with the blessings pouring through me into you. <laughs> 